Not everything in the Digimon world is known. In fact, there are as many mysteries as there are Digimon. Some Digimon don't have a complete backstory and how they came to be is still a mystery. In the case of Digimon who belong to this evolution line, they all have an unknown attribute and type. Considering how those things can be important in getting to know a Digimon, let's see what we know about them so far. <laughs> Kuramon is an unidentified Digimon that suddenly appeared on a computer network. The malice of humans who abuse computer networks and the aggression that arises from conflicts that unfold on networks manifested and a single Digiag was born. Humanity's destructive instinct is condensed into this Digiag and the mysterious Digimon born from it is a very dangerous existence. It spreads like a pathogen within the computer networks and causes minor network disruptions. Kuramon's special attack is Glare Eye, which shoots out foam-like objects from his gigantic eyes. Like other baby Digimon, he can also attack with bubbles. Tsumemon is a baby Digimon that further evolved from Kuramon. The tips of his tentacles have become claw-shaped and his ferocity has increased. The name Tsume is a word that means nail or claw in Japanese, giving his current appearance even more meaning. He erodes data at a tremendous speed and drives the network crazy. Also, because of his fast movement speed, it is very difficult to capture him. His special attack is slashing with his tentacle claws called Nail Scratch. He also possesses the attack Bubbles. Keramon is a growing Digimon that evolved from Tsumemon. His physique has also grown larger and with his large mouth he can erode more data than Tsumemon. In order to erode more than 100 megabytes of data per second, the data is destroyed as soon as it enters Keramon. He has a very cheerful personality and believes that vandalism is part of his play. Keramon belongs to the Nightmare Soldiers and Dark Area Fields. His special attack is laughing and spitting out light bullets with outstanding destructive power from his mouth called Crazy Giggle. Other attacks include Dark Crusher, Crazy Turn, Crazy Smoke and Full Out. Keramon has an ex body form. In order to digest even bigger amounts of data at once, only the face has split while remaining in one body. Even Digimon become his prey and even ultimate level Digimon will be eaten if caught. Each face has its own will and while chewing the prey they make different facial expressions. One face can look like it is chewing on something delicious while the other may show disgust even though they are chewing on the same prey. The power of his special move Crazy Giggle which he unleashes while showing various expressions has more than tripled in power. Chrysalimon is a mature Digimon with a pupa-like appearance. In order to evolve into a stronger Digimon, Keramon in his growth stage will temporarily enter a pupa-like state, preserving his energy. As a result, he cannot move at all, but he is protected by a hard outer shell and can attack enemies with tentacles that extend from his back. In some cases, he can evolve to a perfect form without reaching the adult stage, but he can evolve into a stronger perfect form if he evolves into Chrysalimon first. He belongs to the Nightmare Soldiers and Dark Area Fields. His special attack is destroying the opponent's configuration data with the tentacles that extend from his back called Data Crusher. Another attack is Misconnecting. Infermon is a perfect Digimon with a spider-like appearance with long limbs. He can take a normal form with his head and limbs extended and a cocoon form with his limbs tucked into his main body. When in cocoon form, his defensive power rises enough to repel all attacks, but his drawback is that he can only move in a straight line and cannot change his trajectory. He can infiltrate any network regardless of strong security. Once Infermon is released into the network, the world will fall into chaos. Infermon belongs to the Nightmare Soldiers and the Dark Area Fields. His special attacks are Hell's Grenade, which fires out energy bullets with tremendous destructive power from the muzzle in his mouth and Cocoon Attack, which charges at the enemy in his cocoon form. Other attacks include Cocoon Guard and Virus Skater. Diablomon absorbs any and all data on the network so that he can repeatedly evolve and grow larger, thus draining the digital world and bringing it to the brink of destruction. Having absorbed a vast quantity of knowledge and data, Diablomon sees himself as omniscient and omnipotent and revels in carnage and slaughter. Out of the many Digimon in existence, he is one of the few with a certain purpose. His ultimate goal is to hijack a military computer so that he can launch a nuclear strike and destroy the real world, which makes him a terrifying Digimon. Diablomon belongs to the Nightmare Soldiers and Dark Area Fields. His special attack is Catastrophe Cannon, in which he fires a destructive energy bomb from the cannon in his chest. 
Other attacks include tentacle bug, system fail, multiply, cable crasher, virus download, line surge, and paradise lost. Diablomon has an X antibody form, a monstrous Digimon whose ferocious ecology has been further refined. After taking in the X antibody, the thought routines within his Digicore went out of control, and he repeatedly destroys the digital world in order to embody the idea of being an all knowing and all powerful god. He learned to set cruel and cunning traps to always gain the upper hand without choosing any means to achieve his goals. He appears in front of the enemy with a Yajirabe like appearance centered on his tail, inflicts a feeling of psychological disgust with his bizarre movements, and attacks from odd mollusk like poses. His special attacks are rotating the body like a spinning top and slashing the enemy to pieces with giant claws and hidden arms called Spooky Zapper, and sucking up the data of the enemy he stares at with the 12 eyes of his body called Fatal Gaze. Also, Rewind Abyss 13, which is activated when the hidden 13th eye opens, is the worst curse that forcibly degenerates Digimon when the countdown ends. Armagemon is a super ultimate Digimon, born from the fusion of a large number of Diablomon's babies, causing a mutation. Diablomon possesses the ability to copy himself in large numbers, but the copies have lower abilities than the original. By generating a large number of babies and fusing them together, instead of dispersing abilities, he condenses them into a single individual and gains power greater than that of Diablomon. Also, Diablomon species Digimon are special Digimon that do not belong to either light or darkness. Armagemon belongs to the Nightmare Soldiers, Deep Savers, Metal Empire and Dark Area fields. His special attacks are Black Rain, which shoots energy bullets from his back into the sky and makes the scattered beams fall like rain. An Ultimate Flare, which emits destructive energy waves from his wide open mouth. If you are a fan of these Digimon, that's probably because their appearances were just as cool as their actions. After the events of the first adventure, the protagonists were faced with a Kuramon who hatched from a Digi-Egg on the internet from a collection of viruses. He eventually evolved into Diablomon, challenging the protagonists. He was topped in the end with the first appearance of a Megamon. Three years later, he returned with revenge, but this time he took it one step further with the evolution into Armagemon. This time Omegamon was defeated, but he changed into the Omega Sword, granting Imperial Jumon Fighter Mode the ability to evolve into Imperial Jumon Paladin Mode, stopping Armagemon. These two fights, especially the first one, are locked into the Digimon fandom as important memories, even after 20 years. What are your memories and thoughts of these fights? Write your opinions in the comments below. If you want to support me, you can do so on Patreon or buy me coffee. The links are in the description below. Thank you for watching, stay tuned for more Digimon videos. P.S. Make sure to follow my community page on YouTube as I also post updates about upcoming videos there.